In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to buy Bitcoin 100% anonymously without any kind of ID verification and without any kind of KYC asking for your personal information. This is a method that I've been using for years to stay anonymous with my Bitcoin, especially if I want to use it on Tor Onion websites. Let's get into it. Step one. This step is for those of you who care more about your online privacy so you can use your Bitcoin and be untraceable when making purchases on Onion websites. If you don't care about that and you're just watching this video because you just don't want to provide your personal info and ID to buy Bitcoin, you can go ahead and skip to this time right here. Otherwise, for the privacy conscious people, please, for the love of God, step number one is to use a VPN before you start. Get a reliable VPN that isn't free because with almost all free products, you're never the customer, you are the product. Just like Facebook, <laughs> they will end up selling your data out and they will sell you out. A paid VPN that I recommend is private internet access. I've used them for years. I made an invite a friend link for you guys in the description below so you can get a discount. And with that link, private internet access ends up being a couple of cents a day, which is incredible value for the privacy you get. So go ahead and enable your VPN and continue on to our next steps. Step number two, create an account with Paxful. I have another link in the description below that you can use to directly allow you to sign up. This is the best way that I know of to purchase Bitcoin 100% anonymously. Paxful is actually a peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin trading service that's incredibly easy to use. And also, you can actually make good money by also selling Bitcoin on here as well. You don't have to use my link. You can use someone else's link if you want. But if you do, you can hit me up and be added to my team where I'll extend my hand of help and knowledge to you guys if you want to also possibly learn how to make $200 or more a day with Paxful after this tutorial. Now, when you hit that link below to get to Paxful, you'll be brought to Paxful's page where you can get started and create your account. Now, make sure that while you're in this account creation process, you use an email that you do have access to. But of course, if you are privacy focused, make sure it's an email that you created while you were on VPN. For phone number verification, I don't personally really care if they have my phone number, but for those of you who are security focused, obviously you should put in a temporary phone number in here. Now after all that's done, you can go ahead and go to actually buy your Bitcoin finally, and you can see all these random offers you can possibly see to possibly buy your Bitcoin. But the best way I personally know to buy Bitcoin on Paxful to stay anonymous is to actually buy it with gift cards. Cards I recommend you go get at the store are Amazon cards, One Vanilla cards, Target cards, and Google Play cards. But it's really up to you which gift card you want to trade on here for Paxful. For example, let's say we wanted to do Amazon gift cards select the payment method section over there amazon gift card and we can see all the offers people are offering out to buy your amazon gift cards and exchange it for bitcoin we can do the same and change this a target gift card check that out all the offers people are willing to buy your target gift card off of you so let's walk you through the scenario of if you want to buy bitcoin anonymously with an amazon gift card first you want to make sure that the offer is within your buying limits for example, if you have a $200 Amazon gift card and you want to exchange it on Paxful, you want to make sure that you see the limits people have on their offers. This first offer is doing offers between 200 and 500 USD. So this would work completely fine for you if you were in the United States. By the way, if you're in any other countries, of course, you can always change your offer location right over here. Make sure that it fits your currency and your gift cards that you're offering. But yeah, if we did have that $200 gift card, we would not be able to go for this offer because it's outside of the limits of this guy's offer and so on for the next couple of offers for Amazon gift cards. You also want to make sure that the trade is within acceptable margin of your preference. This margin is a markup on the value of Bitcoin for the trade. So if your gift card is worth $100, you will actually end up getting slightly less than $100 in Bitcoin simply because one, the gift card is not a liquid form of currency like Bitcoin is. And two, you are actually paying for the service and luxury of staying anonymous online. So if these margins feel a little high for you, always try to go for the sellers who are offering the lowest margin so that you can get the most Bitcoin for your gift card value. But you also want to make sure that the seller is a reputable person. Personally, I only trade with people who have at least 100 upvotes. This means at least 100 people have voted them positively in a previous trade. This guy fits my categories, so I'd personally go ahead and trade with him. So let's say we actually end up liking this guy's offer. We're going to go ahead and click buy on his offer. And here it says, I will pay blank amount in USD and receive blank amount in BTC. 
So what is your card worth? Let's say it's around $100. It'll tell us how much we get in Bitcoin for the luxury of staying anonymous. But before we actually submit our gift cards, let's scroll down to see this guy's offer terms. Make sure that you comply with this guy's offer. Read this carefully and make sure everything is all good here. Sometimes it will ask you for a receipt on the gift card that you purchased. If you end up going to the grocery store to buy your gift cards, please be sure to save your receipts so you can take photos of them later for packs full as well. So I want to show you an example of a trade that happened incredibly smoothly for me when I was actually the buyer of Bitcoin. This trade right here was for me selling my $20 Starbucks gift card to this guy. What happens is we both get brought into Paxful escrow service and we start chatting. He immediately gives me his rules right here. I accepted this and went ahead and sent him the back of my card that clearly showed the numbers on the card and the pin number as well. He asked me to type out the card number and pin so I went ahead and did that for him in the chat. And after all is said and done, he ended up releasing my Bitcoins to my Paxful account. Now, I don't necessarily recommend you do Starbucks gift cards in particular. I actually recommend you do more of the Amazon gift cards and the One Vanilla gift cards and the Google Play gift cards because those can actually be redeemed immediately for the sellers of Bitcoin and you can actually get Bitcoin faster into your account. Of course, if they ask for a receipt, make sure to send that as well. But after all that's sent, you can go ahead and mark the trade as paid if it's not an automated trade. And once the person accepts the card on their end, they will mark it as paid as well, and the trade will be done, and you will have Bitcoin in your Paxful account. Now, all you're going to do is transfer it out of your Paxful account into your Bitcoin wallet. Now, if you're watching this video just to bypass KYC and ID verification, then any normal Bitcoin wallet will do, and you're done with this tutorial, and congratulations. Now, if you care more about the privacy and staying anonymous with your Bitcoins, then you need to send your Bitcoins you just received in Paxful to a wallet on Tor. And if you don't already have a Bitcoin wallet on Tor, I'll go ahead and teach you how to get one and transfer all your Bitcoins to it right now. Number one, enable your VPN like normally, of course. Number two, get Hoonix. Hoonix is a Linux distribution completely based on security, privacy, and anonymity, and it's pre-configured to route your traffic over Tor. Set it up with VirtualBox or VMware. You can actually get Tails 2 instead of Hoonix, but I personally recommend Hoonix. Next, open up your Hoonix and install your Bitcoin wallet inside of it. Electrum is a great wallet for your Bitcoin that has a Linux install for it. And I personally recommend Electrum as well. While in the Hoonix OS, go ahead and open Paxful and send over your Bitcoin you just received over to your wallet that you just created as well. And then obviously your last step is just using that Hoonix OS to make any purchase that you need and make sure that you never transfer this Bitcoin to any of your ClearNet wallets or any services that you have accounts with in the ClearNet. Now guys, I actually mentioned in the beginning of the video that there are ways that you could actually make a lot of money by selling Bitcoin instead of buying Bitcoin on Paxful. And I have a totally different video on how exactly you can do that on my channel. So I would greatly appreciate it if you check that out. Otherwise, definitely use my Paxful link down in the description below. Make sure to hit me up and let me know that you join my team so we can both make some money together. And with that said, my name's Ted and let's get this bread.